What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Jeff, the owner of RDR Gear here in Salt Lake Utah. If you don't know what you do at RDR, you can find a couple different ways. One, this YouTube channel, because it keeps him employed and me making videos. Two, our website. Three, our social media, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can find out a lot of stuff for you, wrapped holsters, modified holsters, chest rig, canine, kydex, all that stuff. So with that out of the way, let's kick off this series. I'm going to try to do a batch of videos to kind of uh, just share some different ideas, different viewpoints, different topics of conversation. And this one we're going to do our 2011s. Um, I did by the 2011syndicate.com as my new domain. That'll be a new YouTube channel that Crispy manages for free out of the goodness of his heart. And uh, we won't mess around with no single stack bullshit. It'll be wide body, fat booties, double stack, all that good stuff. And this series will kick off on the 2011s. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about what we got today. The Staccato P Duo. Uh, this is the pistol that I think is honestly responsible for bringing Staccato, the artist formerly known as STI, back to basically a household name. This gun is being ran by everybody from law enforcement to soccer moms, the works. This is a very popular pistol and a very well done pistol. It's a feature packed pistol and I don't think you'd go wrong with this being your entry to 2011. Uh, we've already done a video on this pistol, the exact same configuration, a few months back. Well, more than that, right? six months back. But you can go look at that one. Uh, this is to kind of a refresher and also to talk about some holster options. So the Staccato P Duo is a red dot sight pistol with light bearing option. You can do an aftermarket magwell. Uh, 2011, meaning a double stacked, single action pistol. Um, this one happens to have the Delta Point Pro. It does come footprint wise for Delta Point Pro or the RMR. Um, if you try to put an SRO on the 2011, it will not work with any of the Safari Land active retention holsters because the SRO hangs over the ejection port about to here. So therefore the front of the red dot will hit the internal ALS module of the holster, therefore not allowing to lock up. It, in my opinion, just you guys take this for my opinion, don't get sucked into the social media hype of bigger window being better performing. If you are not 100% transition to target focused shooting and you are still fishing for a dot within your pistol, you're gonna have problems no matter what, right? Regardless of size of dot. You really have to understand what you're doing and the style of shooting you're conditioning yourself to to go from irons to red dot. It's from going from front sight focus to 100% target focused. And once you do that, you'll find that the dot is where it's supposed to be. And size of window, it really does, it's kind of preference, but it's not gonna do anything to enhance your uh, performance in regards to your red dot pistol shooting. So just take that for what it's worth. Go online, look at the Jedi's, look at the, all the different dudes out there in the world doing red dot training. You'll find that a lot of them shoot RMR. Aaron Cowan, one other good one. Um, the SRO just is one of those ones that's gonna be a 50-50 because I've gone through three this year so far. Uh, they just are very delicate. If you're hard use gear dude, be careful. So with that being said, um, you can run any platform. There's all kinds of different adapter plates you can get on the market and it's a great option. So holsters, um, if you're getting the 4.4, there's a 2019 gun, and I guess it would be a 2020 or 2021 gun. Um, the 2021 or 2020, 2021 would be a 4.4 inch length slide, and the older model, which has a different grip, is a 4.1. So Safari so Land makes uh, holsters, and they're basically the same part number, but you'll see one that says 4.4 uh, inch barrel, and the other one, it'll actually say 4.1. The 4.1 holster, if you have a C2, right, the shorter barrel version, uh, it's, I think it's what, 15 round capacity and it's a 4.1 uh, slide length or barrel length, that C2 model will fit in the 4.1 holster. So if you, gotta, if you are gonna run the compact version, you can get a duty holster option for the 4.1, or excuse me, for the 4.1 pistol, you just have to make sure you get the 4.1 holster but with that being said, if you own both guns, which a lot of you guys do who have a C2 and you have a, a, a P Duo, you'll need two holsters because the holsters don't cross over. The C2 is a little too deep to fit in the 4.4 and the 4.4 pistol is too long to fit in the 4.1 holster. That's a lot because it's crazy. 
if Sir Farland just would have made one holster with two muzzle plugs, it would have made life a lot easier. But unfortunately, their position is to get you to get a holster for every gun. But this holster and this holster are identical shells. The muzzle plug in the bottom, one is tall, one is short. If they just would have made one holster with two muzzle plugs, it would have fit both holsters or both pistols. So at the end of the day, this is your option. So choose accordingly in regards to aspect. If you are gonna get an active retention holster, know that you're gonna to have to get the 4.1 for the C2 and the 4.4 for the P Duo. So with that said there. So other than that guys, this is a great option, man. If you guys, retail price when you get a dot, a light, uh, and pistol and some extra magazines, you're probably gonna be around 3,000 bucks. It's a lot of money to enter into the 2011 space, but at the end of the day, if you're gonna go this route, this is a great place to start, um, and it doesn't get much higher in regards to that aspect there of the $3,000. The Staccato P Duo is a great option, and it's well worth the investment of the money to get into that 2011 market space. So again, if you want to try these out, hit up your local range retail gun shop. Staccato has a great program with a lot of different retailers that have these pistols in their stores for you guys to rent, try out, look into. Um, if you do go this route, find some good training, find somebody who's doing single action pistol classes, find an instructor who's teaching the use of the single action safety option. Uh, I highly recommend it if it is a little bit of a learning curve. And until then, keep training and enjoy your new 2011 platform. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. As you post two, three videos every week on gear the review, gear that we manufacture, gear that we sell, and gear the review on this channel. Until next time, be well. Take care.